Terry, not quite the, the result you would have wanted, but a special night to make your Wolves debut nonetheless. Yeah, of course. Um, it's not the result we were after. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, it's a really proud moment. Um, something I've dreamed about my whole life. So, um, yeah, and to make it for this club, it's amazing. When did you get told that you were going to be involved in that? Um, well, the past few days we've been training. Um, and obviously, you're never sure, but um, we got told yesterday that we'd be travelling. Um, and yeah, it was over the moon. Kind of what goes through your mind when you stood there ready to come on? To be honest, just you just want to get on there. Um, for me, the feeling is amazing, but um, when you get on the pitch, you just want to start playing. Um, and it was obviously a difficult game to come on to, but it's amazing, yeah. Because Benny, you had an experience of this last year. Uh, it's good though still to get out there and get some more minutes for the first team. Yeah, obviously every time getting on for the first team is a good opportunity to go and express yourself. Um, I'm a bit frustrated from the game, I feel like I could have done more, but just got to go again, I guess. Is that the feeling for the whole group, I guess? Because despite the, the more experience that Villa had, you were still really in that in the second half. Yeah, second half, we had quite a few chances, to be fair. I feel like we could have gone on and won the game, even obviously it's got the equaliser, but yeah, I feel like we had a few chances, but the game just didn't, didn't work out for us. But as I said, we just got to go again. Terry, do you feel as if everybody involved, not just you youngsters, will have learned a lot from that? Yeah, of course. Um, and we know that we need to be better than that as well. Um, but everyone can learn from that and take it into the next game and improve. What did Nuno say at half-time? Because it certainly seemed second half that you kind of got at Villa a little bit more. Yeah, uh, he just said this, believe in yourself a bit more. Um, not believe from them, just believe in ourselves from us on, on, on the pitch, just... Believe in yourself and yeah, just show more effort, I guess. And you did, didn't you? You gave, you gave a real good go. Yeah, yeah, there was a difference in the second half. I think we were more on the front foot. Um, we obviously got the goal and that lifted us. Um, but Villa did control it well. They were, they were a good team. Um, and we know they've got good experience. But um, yeah, the second half was definitely better and we can take the positives from that. I think all these guys cutting the grass as they go past us. Just one final question to both of you, really. I guess. How special was it as a night for the group? Because there's a lot of the under-23s that were involved this evening. You were kind of all in it together, and that must have made it extra special. Yeah, of course. Um, it's good for everyone to be involved, be around it. It's a motivation for us then to go and do well in the 23s and then try and get more opportunities like that. So I think it can only benefit us and we can learn and go forward. Yeah, um, add on to that, it's good motivation as well. Obviously, it all comes from 23s, and then getting caught up for the first team to play together is just just what you dream of, I guess. So, yeah, good. You've all had a taste. you just got to be hungry for more. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, just got to go again and, yeah, just do more next time. Just a quick word, finally, for all those fans. I mean, still unbelievable support at the end. Yeah, of course. The fans were amazing still, cheering us on right to the end. Um, and that's what we want and that's what we know they'll give us every time. Well done, Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.